I'm bringing you guys some gameplay from Prey here. Beautiful art just right off the beginning. The space in the back with all the stars and everything, amazing. I'm really hyped for this. I was scrolling through Steam, it wasn't really too much. It was on sale for like 9 bucks or something like that. So we're just going to dive into it, man, straight up, just like that. And here we go. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Oh my god, this game is gorgeous. Oh my god. Grab a little gizmo off the side right here. Nice. So this is me. I'm playing. You're burning daylight. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. Not a problem, man. See you soon. Oh, listen. Really great you decided to come on board. Yeah, man, no problem. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Okay, so that was some guy named Alex. I guess he knows me. What we got here? Use plastic tubing and freight wire. I don't really know too much about this game so far. I don't know if there's certain systems where I can trade stuff for other items. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take those for now and see what's going on. Yeah, take all this stuff. I mean, they put it here for a reason, right? Oh, I can pick up items too? Can I throw it? Oh! This game just got ten times better. Look at this though. Beautiful. Still confused as what the game is about, really. I don't really know too much about it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the starting area here soon. I know I'm just kind of walking around. It's kind of boring. But I just want to take it all in, you know. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Yo, this is sick, man. I'm gonna waste all this man's water. Fuck it, I don't gotta pay the bill. Right, let's get the fuck up out of here. Now, I should have read up on the game a little more before I started this and, uh. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Before I started this and, uh. began this playthrough. Morning, Mr. But from what I've gathered so far, it's. Morning, Mr. You. Morning. It's basically, uh. space exploration and. well, not exploration, but it's based around space and it's got a horror aspect to it. Press space to jump and shift to sprint. See to crouch. Okay. But, um, I was seeing from some of the previews on the images when you first buy it on Steam there, I was seeing some head crab looking things. It looked like the head crabs from Half-Life 2. And as a kid, I used to be terrified of those things, so... I'm definitely in for something here. Definitely in for a treat. Just take it all in. You guys are watching it through a screen, but I really... Right here, sitting in front of my monitor, playing it firsthand. This is a beautiful game, and I'm not just saying that. This thing is gorgeous. Pray. I'm gonna try to make this episode around like 20 minutes. Go ahead and get the here first part in. I'll probably do a full playthrough of this game on the channel. On the if you guys want to see any more, just definitely give it a thumbs up. Oh my God. Don't scare me like that. Uh-uh. And most of you guys know me, so just let me know the feedback. Tell me if the microphone is all good. Because I haven't streamed or done anything like this in a while. Hello, Dr. Hugh. Hello. Science operator. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. It reminds me of Codsworth off Fallout 4. It is the same makers after all. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a... 9 a.m. Appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Um, yes. Confirm. Testing facility, huh? Morgan. Whoever made all this stuff needs Finally. a raise. How you doing, Alex? We spoke earlier. Hey. Yeah, there we go. You don't look, you don't look terrible, terrible in a Transtar uniform. Thank How's you. your eye? Still, Still red? red? I know the I know test might seem a little... Unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is an awful lot. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy is going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. Is this Dr. Bellamy? We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. I would love to actually go to space in this game. Right. Testing Just be yourself. 
I'll see, I'll see you later. after. Okay. So what I gathered Dr. from Newton. this is they're going to do a bunch of tests on me, and I basically got to try to get through it. I don't know what they're going to throw at me, but I Good hope it's morning, not too Morgan. bad. Good morning. I'm Dr. Bellamy. What's up? Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Bruh. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> Look at his lips. <laughs> Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Fuck, how'd I pick it up again? There we go. Wonderful. How was that? That's, uh, you're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. Okay. So what, they're just giving me like multiple tests in different rooms and shit? Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Look how red this man's nose is. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. I was focusing too much on his red nose. I wasn't paying attention to what I should do. I'm confused. Dr. You. Morgan. I don't know what you want me to do, sir. Hit this? Bitch. I'm confused. What do you want me to do, man? Do I have an objective menu? Tab? No. Is it warm in here? Yeah, a little bit. What am I doing? I'm confused. Oh. Glass was great, boy. Hmm. Uh, I'm so confused. Synaptic register? At all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. Okay. We're doing marvelous. Thank you. So I'm still confused as what they're testing me for. From gathering what I saw from the beginning with all the head crabs and the aliens and stuff, I think they're checking to see if I have any alien DNA in me or something like that. All something right. of the sort. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Gotcha. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm about to be an Olympic runner. Here we go. Boom. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not Look at all these ball. servers back You're here. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Yeah, let's step into the D. <laughs> it's funny. Come on, doctor. Hurry it up. Use object to examine. Yeah, there we go. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. I would love a cup of coffee. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Gotcha. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Oh, this should be fun. Okay. Let's start on the screen when you're ready. Got it. Here we go. Let's do it. I'm ready, Dr. Man. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love, or try yeah. something new. I'd say I'd go somewhere now. You can't go wrong Good. with mixing it up every Looks now like and then. Got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Afraid. I don't know what will happen. Angry. No one has that right. Calm. It was worth it. Um. Well, if it's because of my actions and I'm getting the death penalty because of what I did. 
I would probably be a little afraid, but I wouldn't be angry because they have the right to it. Because my actions were calm, it was worth it. Probably a little afraid, to be quite honest with you guys. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Yeah, I know it is. I wasn't expecting to be asked that so suddenly. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. I've heard this. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. I switched the track. One life being lost is better than five. Good. Next. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Push him into the track would stop the train. I pushed the man. Almost done. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Ooh, that's a tough one. So I can either push the fat man, stop the train, and save the five people, or jump onto the track, kill myself, and save the five people. Sorry, fat man, but you gotta go. You know what? I'd probably do the same thing. Me too, man. Well done. Wouldn't we all? Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want okay. you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... My talking. <laughs> oh shit! Oh fuck no! Oh fuck no! They gassed me. I've been gassed. Bill Cosby? Is that you? What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Yeah, so that was the head crab thing that I was talking about back there. They kind of just appear out of nowhere Good and they morning, look like Morgan. a... Today I'll stop talking. Monday, March 15, 2032. Back to square one. Rise and shine, Morgan. Got a big day ahead of us of testing. Grab your little thing on the side of your dresser right there. Grab your little node. Grab your suit. You know, same thing. All day, every day. Back to the grindstone. Let's get a gun. Oh, fuck no. Oh, no. It's gonna be one of these games, huh? Cool, so why is my flashlight square? Kinda shit is that. Got myself a wrench. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. Alright, I'm trying. You're not safe. I don't know how to get out of here though. Swing mouth or swing wrench with mouth one. Can I break out of the glass? Yeah, that whoa. That's cool as shit. So this whole time it's been a lie. They've just kind of been watching me and experimenting on me. Okay. So how do you explain the helicopter ride that I took later? Was all that fake too? This is crazy. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Someone's routine. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Yeah, alright. You don't gotta tell me. Fuck these headcrab things. I'm out of here. Oh, so this just leads back around into the corridor that I was already in. I hear something. Ah! Holy shit! Get the fuck out of here, man, with your bitch ass. I'll beat the fuck out of you. Oh my god. That scared the living shit out of me. A typhon, that's what they're called. Oh my god, is it still moving? What type of shit? 
Alright. So good to know I can hear them once they're about to pop out at me. The helicopter's still making weird noises. It kind of just talks to me in a funny radio voice. I'm on my way. Do 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 do. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on extortion. Oh fuck no. Oh fuck no. Typhoon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls Come here. Mimics. Come here. Be careful. What you want it? What you want it? What you want it? You want the smoke? Yeah, come here. You get beat down. Little bitch boy. So just anything can kind of just jump out at me? That's what you're saying? They can mimic anything? It's a cool concept, but it's definitely not fun to play. I mean, it's fun to play, but like, you get what I'm saying. Oh, yep, there he is. Yeah, come here. What you want it? What you want it? Yeah, uh-huh. Right, I seen you. You're not slick. Was this locked? Yeah. Right, cool. I would have hated to play this game without a wrench. Ooh, an apple. I can use that for health later. I'm assuming. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so they're like pretty much everywhere. They can turn into anything. Even cops. Oh, this is going to be a long game. Simulation. Yeah, the Echelon roof. That's what I lived in. What? That's sick. What? Pretty fucking cool, man. Pretty fucking cool. Oh, here we go. Get ourselves in a little airlock here. Oh my god, look at his face! Yeah, what she wanted? Come here. Oh my god, there's four of them. Oh my god, there's four of them. They can multiply? You Are you shitting me? I don't trust anything now. I seriously don't. I'm gonna start beating the shit out of towels and shit now. Give me that med kit though. What the fuck's wrong with you? I saw one go back here. They kinda all just split up. I can't trust anything. Play your way. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the key card, finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more options will become available to you. Sick. Okay, so I can either get up out of there or find the key card. And I heard something over here. Where is it? Which one is he? I'm gonna beat his ass. Yeah, there he is. Ah, I got you, dumbass. Check my email. If you guys want to go ahead and pause the video and read this, you can. I swear to God, I saw that move. So search for a key card, huh? Okay. Simple enough. Hacking one required? So what, is there like skills in this game? Kind of like Fallout? It's pretty cool. Gotcha. Yeah, what you want? 
I'm getting good at this now. Where's the other one? They're everywhere. Why are they... Why? That's the third one in this room. Why are they so close together? So there's the key card. More emails. I'm not going to go through those. To be honest with you, I'm just going to go up through the next few rooms here. Get to an next checkpoint and find a good place to stop. And this will be the first video. What is... Oh my god! It can teleport, yo! That was a phantom. Type in Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. Oh, I'm trying. Not good. Not good at all. And I don't like that I can see the health bar of a mimic on the top. Gotcha, dumbass. I hear something. Oh, I seen him. I seen him. Come here. Come here, ho. Everything you know is about to change. Great. And I wasn't paying attention to what he was telling me to because I was too busy killing phantoms. Neuromod? The Neuromod is a revolutionary transstar invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press N to open your transcribe and navigate to the Neuromod section. Okay. Oh, so this is how I learn all my skills and stuff. Okay. Leverage, repair. I saw something back there for repair one, so I'll go ahead and get this and go back there and do that. I just got an achievement called Know Thyself. What? He just shoved two needles in his face. Doesn't that hurt, man? He just walks away like now, nothing happened. Let's get you to the main lobby. No, I'm going back here so I can repair this. Wherever it was, yeah, here it is. Oh, I need spare parts. Great, so I just wasted my glue cannon? Sick. 9mm bullets, a med kit. Glue cannon, the Transtar glue cannon. Disables or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Press 1 to fire your glue cannon. And press and hold mouse 1 to fire a continuous stream. Sick. Nice. So that's what all this is. Okay. Alright, boys. Well, I think I'm going to leave it off here. This was a pretty good first video. We got a lot done. We figured out what the aliens were and all that. And figured out the science behind it all and how they were tricking me from the beginning. So this is definitely evolving into a really cool video game and I definitely want to keep playing more of this and recording more episodes for you guys. So you'll probably see more of this in the future very shortly. So just stay posted, make sure to leave a like, comment, let me know what you thought, what I can improve on, anything of the sort. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.